option for college just isn't as popular as it used to be. Community college enrollment is down by double digits since before the pandemic. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons takes an in-depth look at the numbers and what San Diego schools to try uh, schools are doing to try and reverse this trend. Statewide community college enrollment is down 17%. Among San Diego's schools, some are doing better, some worse, but all say they are trying to bring students back. What it showed was there was a tipping point and a breaking point. And Dr. Breaking Pamela point Luster, the president of Mesa College, says the pandemic and the financial strains it put on millions of Californians took a toll on community colleges. I think it, it amplified the challenges that community colleges students have to start with. Uh, we have students, about 20% of our students have housing insecurity, almost half described food insecurity pre-pandemic. For many of them, higher education became a luxury. For others, the stress of online learning was too much to handle. They're trying to connect to internet um, that oftentimes is unstable. Um, are they're working out of a kitchen? Are they working out of a bedroom? Um, there's multiple distractions. All that combined to create historic enrollment drops at San Diego's community colleges. According to research published in EdSource, seven of the county's eight community colleges saw double digit losses in 2020 compared to 2019. It's surprising in that normally during recessions, um, community college enrollment goes up because people are trying to train for new jobs. So the surprise is that in this recession, it's gone down. To stem the tide, San Diego's community colleges got tens of millions of dollars in funding from the federal government for student aid and technology. Over the past year, they've given out computers, opened Wi-Fi hotspots in parking lots, and increased direct contact with students to keep them engaged. We are calling students. We are texting students. We are letting them know we're here for them. And hoping to reopen campuses next fall. Exact numbers will be based on vaccine levels and case rates, but early estimates show about a third of classes could be in person. Now the schools are aggressively marketing themselves as a way forward post pandemic. We feel like we've got excellent programs, especially for students who are looking for some short term training to get new careers. Our thing has been don't drop all the way out, drop back. You know, we know that 12 and 15 units are hard to do. So take three units, take six units. College leaders tell me they are optimistic enrollment will bounce back, especially because of things like the Promise program, which offers free tuition to first time students. They say they're hopeful everyone can be back on campus by next spring. Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. Mira Acosta College disputed the numbers in the EdSource study, telling ABC 10 News that their data shows just a 7% drop in enrollment, and we have put their statement on our website, 10news.com.